In this episode of Law Class Pro Patch Breakdown, we sat down with players from the NALCS to get their thoughts on the latest patch for League of Legends. So the grave changes are a little bit interesting. I think they're overall a nerf. Uh, what they did was they made it so the poking buckshot, so when you buckshot from kind of at max range, maybe medium range, it'll be doing less damage, but when you're in their face and you get all three bulls to hit, it does more. Which means that, yeah, he's going to have a little bit more burst, but in general, it's basically a nerf because you're just going to be doing less damage because you're not actually in their face a lot of the time when you're using your buckshot. And I don't think it'll hurt him. I think he was already kind of out of the meta anyways. So when he's going to be randomly played, it will hurt him a little bit, but not too much. Uh, the next change is Jinx. They nerfed her ultimate to be doing less damage at melee range. Basically, if you're trying to shotgun the ult, it's not going to do any damage at all. <laughs> I think they changed it from 125 and 0.5 bonus AD uh, to 25 <laughs> at, at the first rank. So it's a pretty significant change in the fact that if you ever tried to throw a melee range, it's not going to do any damage. But I would say it's actually a really rare scenario where you are throwing at melee range anyways. Uh, so it doesn't really hurt her. I actually played her a few times on this patch already, and it seems like she's still a very good champion. I don't really think the nerf affected her, if at all. So Raz get a lot of changes to his kit. Now his passive acts as a shield that kills with his max mana, which is really good for his old kit. And it goes down with his spell cast as well, so it, it just goes well with CDR items, which is already good as mana, like uh, prisoner and stuff. So his passive is going to be pretty useful to make him tanky, since uh, the range on his abilities are still low, and he's going to be getting to getting up close to get a lot of damage in. So the Q is now a skill shot, and I think that it's going to make Ryze a better kiting champion than, than anything else. I think that he's going to be the guy who's melting the front line and just kiting back and getting spell rotations off on on the tanks which is a pretty pretty cool thing to have is a, a magic damage dps champion that um is really good at dealing with, with the tanky guys and the e is actually really good for that too because it now shreds the magic resist by a percentage and it can stack up to three times so you can have a 36 percent magic resist reduction which is huge for a champion like rice so I think that that all all those three things um, kind of make him uh, like a tank killer for AP damage, which for magic damage, which is I think is a really important thing to have in some team comps, and I think he might be a little bit too strong. So Simon's getting some nerfs to his W, his shield. Overall, they're nerfing the scaling on the shield. You have to make it so you have to level it up to get the most out of it. But I don't think these nerfs are that big of a deal. I think mo what most science do anyway is max W second. So by mid game, where you need the tankiness the most, you'll still be pretty beefy and it won't affect the champ too much. As the same with the reactivation nerf, I don't think it's a big of a deal because usually you use your shield preemptively to get into a fight and then you don't really need to blow someone up in like a burst combo. So I think these nerfs aren't going to change much or anything about Sion. I think he's still going to be a staple, um, really solid top lane pick. So Riot's making changes to Black Cleaver so that now it doesn't build from Brutalizer. So it benefits a different type of top laner champions, which I think is going to benefit mostly type of Bruiser champs that have low mobility and get kited. And all the stats are really good for those, like this the HP and AD are pretty pretty strong stats to, that you want to have on the Bruisers. And also, 20% CDR is a really massive stat because most items before um, used to give you 10% CDR. And it was really hard to itemize for CDR as a, as a Bruiser. And that was one of the struggles that you had to look for CDR glyphs and add other stuff into your belt just to get a lot of damage um, from your spells in, in several rotations. But with the new Black Cleaver, I think... It's going to be a really good item for those melee champs that are slow and get um, kite in teamfights. And I think it's going to be a really solid item. And you can even rush it because Fage, I think, is, is 
a really strong item already, just on its own. It's, I think it's pretty efficient for a lot of top lane champs. So I could definitely see the Black Cleaver being a, a staple item in a lot of Rooster's builds, and even being even even being like first item in in a lot of builds. So I'm excited to play with it. Black Cleaver is a newly changed item um, in League of Legends, and I think that it's going to be a really strong jungle item specifically, and just um, a strong item on AD bruises in general. Uh, the main reason that I think it would work so well in the jungle is because there's a lot of health on the item. The health has been increased from 200 to 400, which um, synergizes really well with Cinder Hulk. So now if you go the tanky Cinder Hulk item on a Lee Sin, Rek'Sai, Jarvan, something like that, and you follow it up with a Black Cleaver, you'll actually be doing um, significant damage at that point. Uh, it has 40 attack damage on it, uh, which is the same as like a Last Whisper, except it's missing some pen. Um, and it gives 20% cooldown reduction, which is really big. Ever since Cinder Hulk was introduced, it was kind of hard to come by um, huge amounts of CDR for junglers. Um, specifically, if you were tanks, you could go things like Frozen Heart, Lock It. But if you were going kind of the damage uh, oriented route, it's really hard to find items for CDR. You normally have to buy Brutalizer and things like that that don't necessarily give you massive amounts. So giving having 20% CDR from this item and all the health makes it a decent synergy with Cinder Hulk. And also, um, it does enough damage to actually warrant um, people uh, focusing you in fights. You can't just be ignored because, um, like, Lee Sin, Jarvan, Rek'Sai, all the bruises would kind of get outscaled by tanks. Um, and eventually, if you went the Cinder Hulk route, um, you just do significantly less damage than all those champions. So, uh, I think it's a, generally a pretty good change for junglers. And I think that it should increase the pool of viable junglers for competitive play. I think it's an interesting item. It can't really be bought very effectively on people. The most obvious one would have been Urgot, but even on Urgot, it's pretty awkward because the build path is Phage Kindle Gym. And if, you, if you're building a Phage, it's Urgot. Like, I don't know when you would even get it. Maybe after the Man Immune, but not gonna have CDR for a while because you're getting the Phage first. And you'll get a Kindle Gym. It's just, it seems really awkward to me, but maybe it'll be good in the future. For right now, it looks pretty weird. Uh, I guess having the Rage passive isn't the worst thing, but besides that, I don't think it works very well in AD carries. The best one I've found so far, and I haven't tried all of them yet, has been Ash. <laughs> I, I kind of do a, uh, a full CDR Ash build. I go Essence Reaver, Ghost Blade, into Black Cleaver. Maybe not that exact build path, but I get all three of those items, and at one point in the game I'll have 40% CDR. And it... I don't know if it's the best build on here, but it was a really fun build to try out. Uh, I think the other AD carry it might work well on would be Lucian. It seems like it'd be okay because Lucian works well with CDR, and the other stats are fine, like health and the rage passive. Uh, I don't know. Besides that, I haven't tried it on Lucian yet. The armor pin is kind of weird because if you think about it, it's always going to be weaker than Last Whisper. And if you're an AD carry, like, why would you want to get health and CDR unless you can really use it? So, on Lucian, it might be okay. Haven't actually tried it yet. Uh, the next item is Blade of the Rune King. They actually buffed this by a very good amount. Um, oh, apparently, I didn't even notice this. It does, it, they increased the passive minimum damage, which apparently was at 3, but now it's 10, which is not really a change. I don't really care about that. The other part is the, the on-hit passive benefiting from lifesteal so basically if you're hitting someone with a huge life pool i think you'll be life stealing more than bloodthirster as like a first item for play the ranking versus bt which is pretty interesting because normally when you get play the ranking you don't really have life steal it's actually super minimal but now that they added this change in that it'll make sure that you can actually sit around and sustain like you can with bt which is pretty nice. Uh, I don't think it's gonna bring back all the champions that build Bork in the first place, but it'll definitely help them out. A few that I can think of are Vayne, Twitch, uh, Kalista can build Bork, but I don't think it's her best item route. I think Tristana might want to build Bork now. Uh, it'll help out Kog'Maw too. I, I think that's it, maybe Quirky, I guess. I actually like Quirky with, uh, <laughs> with loot in second. Oh uh, yeah, besides that, no one else can really build work that efficiently, and I don't think it'll just launch those people into uh, being the best at the AD carry role now. I think everyone else will still 
be good at the role. Like, Kalista's still gonna be really strong. Jinx, even with her change, will be strong. And I don't think Twitch and Vayne will just suddenly emerge. Maybe they will. No idea. Uh, going to the next item change is Recurb Bow. I think it actually helps out a lot. Uh, yeah, the total cost has increased from 900 to 1100, but it makes it less awkward when you can afford it because when you're building Bork, you, instead of having to build two daggers in your inventory, you can just have Recurve, which makes it easier to build, especially late game where um, sometimes when I'm trying to get Bork like fourth item, I have to sell my Doran to get a dagger because I would rather have the dagger kind of than a Doran at that point in the game. and it makes it so that I can put a recurve in that slot, which is double the attack speed and the, the kind of random 10 physical damage bonus, which just makes it better as an item in total. And I, it helps out uh, the hurricane build path as well for Callista.